Welcome back to the Abby Dom Ash Fishing YouTube channel. And today, me and my dad are fishing at a creek back in the woods. We're going to see how many different species we can catch, and he's already got one on. It's a big one. Oh, that's the sunnies we've come here before that for. Boy. That's a big one. Here, can you hold them so, so I can yeah, that's the underwater release. Yeah, we're going to try to get some underwater release. This is a green sunfish bluegill hybrid for the yeah, first okay. fish of the day. Okay. There we go, guys. That's a beautiful fish. It's a beautiful fish, guys. We have an off night tonight, so we haven't got out to do much multi-species with soccer starting and all a bunch of stuff. Fall is always crazy, so getting out is going to be super fun. We're casting upstream from this uh from the current right here now. Okay. Try to catch some bass, maybe some different species. See what we can get. Oh, oh I missed one already. Ooh, ooh. There we go. No! My first fish of the day. Oh, got off. My dad's didn't get off. That's another nice bluegill. You're not messing around with the little ones today. Oh, I got one on. That he actually just, that was a real, that was not a hybrid. Just like this one right here. Not a hybrid, just a pure bred bluegill. Seems like the fish are biting so far. Just casting right here. Oh, there's another one. It's a slay fest right now. And they're all, all good ones. That's another nice bluegill. Gonna try to get we'll another. To catch all the bluegills out of here so we can get to the other species. <laughs> yeah, or just change up our baits. Gonna try to get an underwater release. There we go. These are a lot bigger bluegills than I kind of expected, too. You know, this spot holds big bluegills, but. So it's been a pretty rainy, nasty day. But once my dad got home from work, he called me and said, if I wanted to come fishing today, as he catches another nice panfish. Oh, just a green sunfish. Got to record another new species. Gosh, it's on fire. This one is just a green sunfish. It's a pretty big green sunfish too. We're gonna get the release. This one probably end up changing our bait soon because. We like catching bluegills, it's fun, but the bite is very hot. And we know there's bass and we know there's pickerel. You guys, I'm probably gonna try to move to a different area so I can hit this pool a little better and we'll see what happens. Right now, guys, we're using the Euro Grub from Euro Tackle. Basically, the Euro Tackle Euro Grub is just putting in work right now, guys. What I'm doing, just casting. Jig, sink. Jig sink. That was a pretty big hit. <laughs> okay, now I've had three back to back decent bites that I've missed. Something big. He's pulling line. Big pickerel. I think it's a big pickerel. Yep, it's a big pickerel. Big pickerel. I can't get I can't land him. Dom's on a pickerel. Big one, he says. Trying to find a spot to land it. Ooh, that's a beauty. Yeah, that's... get down there and try to land them for oh, you? We need to get do something, yeah. It's a big one. Can you grab the body of the fish? Thank you. There we go, guys. Put them on the grass. That's probably a 20, 21, maybe 22 inch pickerel. It's a big one, guys. My personal best. There we go. Okay, guys, there we go. There we go. Beautiful. beautiful pickerel. Can we go over here so we can wash them off and get a picture? Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. What, do you, what would you say? Probably 20, 20 inches? 20 yeah, inches? Big. There we go. I know that was a big one, a bigger one. Felt him fighting, he pulled some drag. Euro tackle never, ever fails. Never fails to uh, 
good fish on the bank. Okay, hey, we're gonna try to get it underwater. Oh, at least on this fish. What a beauty. There we go. Nice fish. Another example of weeding through the small fish to get to the big ones. That um, like we 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 call it probably 25, 30 bluegills. Would you say to get that one? But it's definitely worth, definitely, definitely worth it. Worth it. I think that the pick rule, from my personal experience, that they like something that darts or imitates a minnow. I think that's the best bait. If we were here with minnows and bobbers. We probably would be catching a lot more pickerel, but we like catching all the little fish too, so it's not as big of a deal to us. We want to catch whatever's going to bite, but if you guys are going out pickerel fishing, use something that imitates a minnow or get minnows for yourself. Change back to worms and bobbers, just just because it's been a little bit, so we're probably going to catch some bluegills, but something wrong with that. It's going to be fun. Change back to worms and bobbers. Just just because it's been a little bit. So we're probably going to catch some bluegills, but something wrong with that. It's going to be fun. Hopefully should be fun. Oh, God. It's a nice one, too. Whoo, baby. Some big bluegills right here. Just caught this massive sunfish. Can't really see how big it is, but but it's just that thing's huge. This, this, this is my whole hand. It's next to my dad's hand. It's the size of it. By four is PB sunfish, probably probably about a pound. Huge sunfish. I don't have any. I don't. He's going to get the underwater release. Nice. I caught that on a swim shad, which is about a two and a half inch bait. That's just, that's the biggest sunfish I've ever seen. Probably at least a pound. Wow, that thing was ginormous. Hopefully that's going to do it for the day, guys. A great day, great evening out on the water. We caught, I don't even know how many species. I'd probably say five or six. I caught my personal best pickerel, which was an awesome catch. And we caught one of the biggest sunfish I've ever seen, which was another awesome catch. So all in all, it was a great day, and we were switching baits, using a bunch of different stuff, and caught a bunch of fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Peace.